Hello everybody, welcome to this week's update video. Um, my name is Martin and I'm an Inkscape developer and I develop features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users uh, because you guys, the everyday Inkscape users, are the ones that pay me to do this work. So to start off with, I want to give a big shout out and a big thank you for the people that have joined my Ko-fi, my Patreon or my LibrePay and who basically make sure that I'm well stocked with tea and biscuits and everything else that a programmer needs in order to do a good job. Um, I want to give a special thank you to everybody who downloaded the betas and their RC for Inkscape 1.4. Uh, you guys have found a lot of bugs and hopefully we got a lot of the most important stuff fixed. Um, so the release is looking pretty good. In the last couple of weeks since I created a, a video, I've actually fixed a couple more things, uh, mostly to do with like obscure crashes when you pressed certain keys or certain situations that would happen rarely but not frequently, um, just getting those fixed. Um, some things that I've managed to do that are not a part of the release. So this is this will this will be stuff that's in 1.5 later on. Somebody asked me to put uh, metadata from PDF files into the SVG document when you open them. This should mean that uh, things like title and description and keywords will be preserved when you open them in Inkscape. This is useful. Somebody asked me to add a configurable undo stack. This is so that uh, if you are worried about Inkscape's use of memory, especially on Windows, you can effectively say, you know what, Inkscape, I, I like the idea of an infinite undo, but it's unrealistic for the kind of work that I'm doing. And, uh, you know, I only want you to remember 200 undos or 60 undos or whatever amount that you want. I'm setting the default to 200. I think that's reasonable considering the types of uh, undo systems. There may be some cleanup that's necessary to uh, collate certain um, tasks into one undo step. So for example, when you're typing in text, if you type in 200 letters, that counts as 200 undo steps. That's probably not a good idea. That should probably count, you know, as a, if not one undo, then at least like fewer than 200. Okay, so that's some of the work that I've been doing. Uh, Release-wise, it's been um, all kind of hands on deck, just pushing this release out of the door, uh, making sure that the installers work, making sure that the graphics is all up to date within the installers and working with my colleagues to um, make sure that everything is in place for the release. Um, that is all going well. Windows users should be at least pleased with the graphics that I put in for the Win Windows installers. Speaking of graphics, I've actually got in new shirts. Now, these are based on the Inkscape 1.4 graphics, and I've just got a shipment in of white tees. You can see I'm wearing one here. Uh, they're, they're pretty nice, I would say. A little thin, so I'm gonna see if I can get a thicker material if I do a new batch. Um, if you're interested in this design, uh, comment below. I am definitely interested to see how many people would be interested in this kind of thing for the new release. You'll notice it doesn't actually have the Inkscape branding yet anywhere. So this is more of a t-shirt that you can wear and say, you know, if you know, you know. Okay. So, Chris, have I forgotten anything? Well, you fixed a file for me too. Oh, yeah. So for Chris specifically, I fixed a file. Okay. So I think that's about it. Oh, no, no, no. There is one more thing. So I ran a survey of all of the developers in Inkscape. And the idea is, is to figure out, um, are we as a community making it easy to contribute to the project? If you're a volunteer, if you're being paid to work on Inkscape or what have you. And so I, I, I canvassed all of the developers to see like what their positions was, were they, were they active, were they struggling, did they find mentors, that sort of thing. Uh, some interesting stats for you guys. Um, about 80% of all of the developers responded that they use Linux as their primary development developer plat platform. Two of them responded that they used Windows. Three of them responded that they used Mac OS. Just so you can get a sense of the uh, scale of difference. Supporting Windows has been a struggle. This is one of the reasons why I created this developer search survey. So we could get a sense of um, what our Windows uh, infrastructure looks like. And I've started creating some... Um, uh, movements towards paying somebody to work on our Windows infrastructure. So this is not fixing Windows bugs themselves. This is about making sure that um, if you come into the project as a, a Windows developer, that uh, the instructions work, you can download the source code effectively, you can make a fix, uh, you can compile it quickly, 
that sort of thing, right? So like all of those things that would make it uncomfortable for you to help contribute to Inkscape's success on win Windows, getting those things fixed will hopefully mean that we'll have more contributors and fewer of them will, will struggle. Because um, that's what the survey kind of picked out is that while a lot of people could find instructions, a lot of the times those instructions didn't work. Um, and like even if they managed to fix those problems that they were having, uh, just the fact that those those problems existed at all puts a barrier in place, right? Like you're spending time fixing a build problem instead of fixing the problem that you want to actually attack on the platform that you're on, right? And that's no good. So yeah, we, we've I've compiled this data, I've sent it to the developer team, and obviously I've kicked off some pro processes to see about if we can fix it using some money. Um, so that was the last thing. And, uh, and that's about it. The release for 1.4 is scheduled for the 8th or 9th of October. This depends upon, um, oh, sorry. No, I'll rephrase that. The developer team will be finished on the 8th and 9th. That's the translations cut off. The vectors team have, has asked us for a couple more days to schedule. This is just scheduling. It's nothing to do with coding. They want to release it on the Sunday, which is the 13th. Yeah, on the 13th. So that's when all the announcements will happen. Um, the download files will probably be available before then, but um, you, you know, people that want to make social media announcements and stuff, they just want to make sure that they have enough space to get everybody together on the same date. And that just means making sure that you pick a date that most people are going to be available. And uh, so yeah, the 13th of October is when you should look for forward to it. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my uh, Patreon, Ko-fi and LibrePay. And I will see you next time.